I want to go right now to Lieutenant General David Aptula, a U.S. Air Force uh, general, um, on the switchblade drones. If, if you can help me with this, they're, they're very, very accurate. Um, they essentially launch on the ground. They hit their target. No, no human beings involved. But the Russians already, upon hearing this, seem to be signaling, hey, wait a minute, that's an offensive weapon. How, how do you describe it, General? Um, well, Neil, first, uh, thanks for having me on. Uh, what I'd tell you is you. Uh, what are being called drones, uh, the switchblade, is more appropriately termed a loitering munition. Uh, it's launched out of a mortar tube, and the Army actually categorized it as a missile rather than a drone. Uh, hmm. These things are relatively small. Uh, the first variant is only about six pounds, and the warhead is about the size of a hand grenade. Uh, not much. Uh, the other version is around 50 pounds, and it does have a, uh, a light armor capability. But directly to answer your question, uh, the, the fact of the matter is weapons by themselves are neither offensive or defensive. It's how they're used that determines which. And it's important to remember that Russia invaded Ukraine, not the other way around. So everything the Ukrainians are doing is defensive, and every weapon that we provide Ukraine is defensive. So, General, um, these drones might, might, might become a, a very big issue. We, we know of one Russian drone um, uh, that crashed in Poland. So borders tend to get muddied here. And I'm just wondering where you think this is going. Uh, well, Neil, uh, I unfortunately, I have to tell you that I think Putin's rhetoric is doing more to deter action by NATO to assist Ukraine than NATO is doing to deter Putin from his absolutely atrocious, inhumane assaults against the Ukrainian people. Uh, and it's, it's time for America to reverse this situation by providing the Ukrainians the tools that they need to fight and win. So, General, uh, Vladimir Putin was the most blunt he's been, and, and this was like scary blunt, uh, referring to those who challenged the state, uh, you know, in, in pretty harsh terms. Uh, the scum uh, must be dealt with, time for a cleansing. You've heard all of these remarks. Uh, what's going on with him? Well, it's difficult uh, to tell. I would, I would suggest that he's channeling his uh, inner Stalin, uh, who was the most heinous leader of the 20th century. Uh, and it would be, well, it's unfortunate what Putin's doing uh, already in Ukraine, and it sounds like he's now going to turn that around internally inside his own country. Now, I'm sure there are folks inside Russia uh, who will ultimately reach their limit and uh, perhaps seek to uh, change the position that Mr. Putin currently resides in. When you hear some of these uh, potential threats, for example, that the Secretary of State was mentioning today, including the possibility of uh, the Russians using chemical weapons and blaming it on the Ukrainians, I didn't quite understand how he would pull that off, but he must know, uh, Vladimir Putin, that that escalates this well beyond the norm and could trigger NATO involvement, couldn't it? Uh, yes, Neil, it could. And I, I want to be careful to make sure that the audience understands that we shouldn't deceive ourselves. The risk of escalation is ever present. But regardless of what actions the West takes to support Ukraine, uh, Putin's already shown that he'll manufacture a pretext when his adversaries are too smart uh, to giving him one. So meeting the moment here is vital. And while the West needs to carefully calibrate its response to Russia, at the same time, uh, we need to remember that allowing Putin to succeed in his callous invasion uh, is going to have reverberations around the world. Uh, that cannot be uh, dismissed or allowed to occur through insufficient action. General, I want to thank you very much, mostly, sir, for your service to this country. Uh, Lieutenant General David Deptula, following these latest developments. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.